Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today we're gonna do a SolidWorks speed run. The last time I did this model, it took me about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna see if I can get my time down a little bit lower on this challenge. So this challenge comes from the Too Tall Toby website, tootalltoby.com, in the app called Practice Models. You can see here right in the middle of the page, we can get started with our free Practice Models account. And this website has a repository of over 100 challenges going from 2D to 3D models using any 3D CAD system to try to see if you can calculate the correct mass from that 3D model. And there's about 20 challenges on here that are free. And then if you really like the app, you can sign up for our premium membership to get access to the entire library. But you can see here that one of these challenges is 240110. It's this tier four machined part. And the last time I did this challenge, I got a total time of 15 minutes and 56 seconds. And that's a little bit slower than the average for this model. It looks like there are 515 people who have completed this model. And uh, the average time is 11 minutes and 52 seconds. So I'm gonna use all the information that I learned the last time I did this model. I watched Toby's tutorial showing some really good time-saving tips and tricks. And I'm gonna try and implement all of that and just kind of speed through this thing and see how fast I can complete it. So if that sounds good to all of you, hit the like button. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comments. And let's click this try again button and give this thing a shot. So I'm gonna bring up my keyboard cam so you can see what shortcuts I'm using. I'm going to bring up the clock so we can see how long this takes. And here we go. Three, two, one, go. So what is the total mass of this part? We're going to enter that answer down here in this box. Let's move this over to our second screen and let's jump into it here using some of the shortcuts we learned from the last tutorial video. So here we're going to start with a template, ABS, MMGS, front plane, begin a sketch, S key, line, and we're going to use some auto dimensioning to save some time here. So we're going to move the mouse over in this direction, let go of the mouse, 135, enter, move up in this direction, 12, enter, move back in this direction, 135, minus 25, enter, move up in this direction, 65, minus 12, enter, move over in this direction, move down like so. And then we're going to jump into the smart dimension command and create a smart dimension from this line to the end point of this line. And we're going to make sure that that dimension is set to an angle of 25 using that magic dimension uh, angle handle. Whoops, 15 using that magic dimension angle handle. So now we're gonna press the S key and jump into the extrude command and we're gonna choose an extrude depth of 85, enter. And then we're gonna right mouse button in the background and say mid plane and then immediately right mouse button again to finish that command. Pick this face here, begin a sketch, orient our view. That's control eight to orient that view. And then we're gonna choose the S key arc and create an arc that goes from here down to here. And we're gonna let go of our mouse and we're gonna type in a radius of 77. And so now we're gonna hit escape. We're gonna take this arc, hold control, this edge, let go of control, tangent, this point, hold control, this point down here, let go of control, vertical. And then we're gonna choose the S key extrude cut and we're gonna right mouse button in the background and say through all in both directions and then immediately right mouse button again. Boom, cut that thing off where that arc is. Now we're gonna pick this face here, begin a sketch, orient our view, S key, line, single click, move our mouse over, single click again, let go of our mouse, or sorry, come back and touch the end point without letting go of our mouse, but don't click anything, just touch the end point, come out here, let go of our mouse, type in the radius 26, enter, come around to 180 degrees, single click, single click, single click to create that tombstone shape, hit escape, pick this point, hold control, pick this arc, let go of control, concentric, and now we have a nice fully defined sketch, S key, extrude, nine, enter, enter, there's our extrude boss at a blind depth. Now we're gonna pick this face here, begin a sketch, orient our view. We're gonna S key, line, single click this upper edge, move down, let go of our mouse, type in the depth of that tombstone, 20, enter, move uh, back to that end point, come away from the end point with an arc, let go of our mouse, we're gonna type in 15, enter, continue around here until we're exactly horizontal, single click, move our mouse straight up, single click, move our mouse over, single click, and now all we have to do is press escape, Pick this point, hold control, pick the origin, let go of control, and make vertical. And now that sketch is fully defined. Now we can do S key extrude cut, 
right mouse button in the background, we can say through all, right mouse button again. Now we can pick this face here, begin a sketch, orient our view, and we can sketch a center point rectangle with the dimensions for that counter bore locations, 10, enter, 55, enter, hit escape, pick this line, hold control, pick this line, let go of control, collinear, pick this point, hold control, pick the origin, let go of control, vertical. Now we can exit that sketch, and now we can jump into our whole wizard command. This is going to be a counter bore, and using the custom hole size, we're going to type in uh, 5, tab, 10, tab, 5, and then we're going to choose the positions button here. Pick this face to activate a 2D sketch, drop one point here, drop one point here, right mouse button to finish, and now we're going to pick this this face here for our other counter bore. Sorry, we're going to pick this sketch and choose to hide it, and then we're going to choose the whole wizard command, whole wizard. We're going to go down here to our... Um, custom sizing we're going to say that this is going to be 15 tab 30 tab 12 tab we're going to click positions we're going to pick this face to activate 2d sketch and then we're going to hold our mouse over this arc to wake up the center point drop that point there and then you can right mouse button to finish that counter bore and now s key fill it and the radius of this field is going to be 20 enter and we're going to pick this edge and we're going to pick this edge and then we're going to right mouse button to finish that command as well give this thing the final spin it looks pretty good we're going to go up to our sensors here control q to update our sensors 204 grams come over here 204 enter yes we did it so we're going to go back here to our answer after we type in that 204 we see this purple box shows up and this time it says congratulations Congratulations, this answer is correct, but you already knew that as you have completed this practice model before. The model answer is 204 and our time is 434. And then at the bottom it says, upon submission, your previously submitted time of 1556 for this practice model will be replaced by this four minutes and 34 seconds. So we're gonna choose submit. And it says, are you sure you wanna do this? Yep, I'm sure. And okay, and boom, there we go. Now our time is lower than the average time. Before we were up at like 15 minutes, the average time for this one is 11 minutes and oh, now 50 seconds. So we actually brought it down a little bit by getting that faster time, awesome. So our average time is now, or our, fast, our time is now faster than the average time. And that's what we were hoping to accomplish. And that's the cool thing about this app. You can just kind of keep trying until you accomplish your goal. Maybe your goal is to get lower than the average time. Maybe your goal is to get lower than half of the average time. Whatever your goal is, the cool thing is you can keep trying these same models and, and you can kind of come up with some strategies. And then before you know it, you're going to be using those strategies in your everyday CAD life. So if this was helpful for you, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to visit us at twotalltoby.com slash practice. And you can try this app yourself. And if you really like it, be sure to sign up for the Practice Models Premium offering where you get access to that entire library of over 100 challenges. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about it, what you learned, and I'll look forward to seeing everyone in the next tutorial video.